we gave ourselves an instance of this control of our custom control and now the question is how do we get functionality now again we don't have any logic yet and we will not kind of uh, create uh, a quick little game here because this would take probably 10 times longer than the actual than the actual control so we will just create some very very simple functionality and basically log uh, some statement out so how do we do this now and this is the moment at which you would have if you would be in a class that is i don't know that wants to send an email this would be the moment you grab a reference to your pop-up window that you um that you want to add in some moment and now you say okay um this was the moment where i wanted to send an email so um i don't want to send the email immediately i want to ask the user if he actually really wants to send the email that's why i'm showing him this pop-up window and only when he confirms then i'm going to send the email and how do we do that we gave ourselves this event confirmed and to that we can now add some functionality now let's just play along with this example of sending the email so let's say obviously we're not sending an email but let's log um let's log some confirmation that the email was sent so let's imagine this is the moment where we send an email so in the real uh in, in in a real scenario you would not write this code but you would write whatever you need to send your email over here um oh yeah that's one thing i just forgot one thing obviously we have to add our pop-up um, to our root before okay and now um for the other case when we cancel let's also write let's give ourselves some log message email sending cancelled and what we can do is and typically typically that's the kind of behavior that you have now basically you could do this for both um for both cases i was just thinking about just adding this to the cancel case but basically in both cases what you want to do is to um remove the window afterwards right um and now obviously we could only do this we could just do this um down here for both cases but just to show you that you can add um, several uh, behaviors to one of those events um, what we could also do is say okay so once the user pressed cancelled we want to say that um, we want to log out that the email is not that the user does not want to send an email or do whatever else you want to do when he cancels but also what we want to do is to actually um, remove this pop-up window because there is nothing to do for the pop-up window anymore so that's what we could do now again we could also do this for the confirmed case and then it would be smarter to do this in any case and not not add this as um, not add this to the event but just generally do this after the user did something um, but let's just for the sake of this example add this to the cancelled case and see what happens Let's go back to the editor. We have to get, go to the game view. Now, um, there is one little thing. We are trying to add this thing, as you just saw, by script. Um, but currently, since we linked the game, the, the this UI component to this uh, UXML file, we are also seeing this uh, this control here that we have in in the um, in the UI builder so in order to not to have it twice let's remove this now we can see there is nothing um, there is nothing present here now the only thing that's left to do is to add the script and when we now start our game we get our um, custom control that we created now let's look at the console when we confirm 
obviously this email sending does not really um, make sense in in this case but again this email sending is just an example now you would have some custom text do you really want to send an email and then you would send an email so now we can confirm a couple of times which you probably don't want to do in a real case and now let's see what happens when we cancel and you can see it works the uh, pop-up window disappears and we get whatever behavior we want to get when we cancel let's just look at this once again our control is created we can confirm and we can cancel beautiful it seems to work so just like that we created a custom component that's what we wanted to do um, remember when you want to add this custom component once you add this uxml factory um, code piece in your class your uh, component will be available here under your custom controls and you can just drag it and add it to your ui builder and if you want to use it in your actual runtime in your actual game view you have to um, link it up through this ui document um, component as we always do in ui toolkit beautiful i hope um, you found that video useful um, obviously that's just a starting point you can do a lot more with those custom components and um, if you're interested in that um, like the video subscribe and you will get noticed about the udemy course where we will do um, a couple of more custom controls and um, learn about uh, some some more scenarios and some more features that they actually have.